In this video, we're going to show you to install the fuel pump module on your Dodge Charger located underneath the rear driver's side of the seat. Grab the rear deck lid here, grab the pull strap, and pull it up. Now, if you happen to have the strap here to secure the deck lid, set that up. In the back of the vehicle, once you open up the trunk, you're going to lift up your battery or spare tire cover here to locate this fuse box. You're going to open this up. Now what you want to do is you want to look for your fuel pump uh, relay here or fuse. In our case, it's going to be number 21, and that shows it right here. Now what we're going to do is going to pull this out. I'm going to be careful with this, but gently pull straight up. And that is a 25 amp. We're going to set that aside. Our next step is to hop into the vehicle and we're going to start it. I'm going to let the vehicle run until the fuel pump system drains of fuel. Try one more time. And that's it. We have depressurized our fuel rail system. We're going to reinstall our fuse. Install our cover here and secure that down. Our next step is to go ahead and disconnect the ground terminal on the battery. This little pinch tab on the back side, I'm going to pinch that and pull this off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the anchoring nut here. I like to use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry this open and then it wiggle this up and off. Now we're in the back of the vehicle itself. We have both of the front seats Push all the way forward so we have room to work back here. We need to pull up the rear cushion. So right about here and on the driver's side rear, we need to grab the seat and lift up. And then pull the seat up and out. And we're gonna remove it from the back Now with the seat removed, we want to lift up on this cover. And we can go ahead and roll this up and tuck it underneath the seat back. Now you, you want to make sure that you're working in a good ventilated area. We want to go ahead and pull up on this cover. Use my trim tool. Lift this up and off. Now right here on the top is an electrical connector. You're gonna push down on the tab on the top. And then pull that connector off. This should allow you a little more room to get into once you pull that connector off. Now there is a metal lock ring on the top here. Do not use a screwdriver and hammer because if there are fuel vapors and you create a spark, you're gonna have a big problem. So make sure you use a brass punch or the proper uh, lock collar tool to loosen and remove that. Now the collar itself comes off in a counterclockwise rotation. Now, as you lift this up, the fuel pump itself may spring up. It is spring loaded, but if it does, it's only gonna pop up about an inch. Go ahead and set this aside. Now, ideally, you wanna make sure that there's no dust or dirt here. If you do, go ahead and grab a vacuum and clean that up. You don't wanna have stuff fall down inside the tank. While holding pressure on top of the fuel pump, I'm gently gonna blow the air around here, cleaning up any debris. Now we're going to loosen this. We 
I'm gonna move our tools and I'm gonna bring over a tray. Now the rods themselves can pull up and out, but there's a couple connectors on here we need to pay attention to because there is a fuel pump unit and then there was a fuel transfer unit. Now there is a connector right here. If you push in on the little green tab inward, you should be able to pull this transfer hose off. It has a 90 degree uh, elbow on it that goes into the top of the pump. So now have that hose disconnected. Now there are two hoses right here, held in by little plastic retainers, right here and here. We're simply going to pop those out. They're not connected to anything. You're just gonna release those, let them fall down inside. And on the bottom side here, we have electrical connectors. So there's just a little pinch tab on both of them. So you're gonna pinch and wiggle these out. My pocket screwdriver is coming in handy just to try to move those tabs. Remove that top half. Now there is a float here which is a metal rod. So I want to try and lift this up and out like so. And we have our fuel pump unit here. We have our hoses and lines from the transfer pump. So what we want to do is we want to lower our fuel pump down in, make sure that the float itself does not get bent or forced or damaged on its way in. Could drop that down inside. Now we have a couple simple connections to do. We have our flow hoses right here. And these are simply going to clip in to the retainers. So you simply just press those in. There's gonna be a fat hose and a skinny hose. Press those in. Then we have the fuel line transfer right here. You're simply going to line it up on top of the fuel pump. Push that down and you're gonna feel in here it click into place. At this point here, we're gonna remove our O-ring. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit of this residual fuel here that's sitting around the perimeter. Make sure that that groove where the O-ring is gonna be placed is clean and free of debris. Take that new O-ring, set it into place. Now when we had removed this, we made sure that this tab itself was facing us and we know the connector pulled off towards us. So you're gonna line up your fuel pump Install your connectors. They can only go in one way and they are two different connectors so you cannot mess that up. Make sure that you feel them and hear them snap into place and give them a little tug to make sure that they're secured. Now you're gonna take these two rods, you're gonna line them up with the two holes on the module itself. Line that up and push it down into place. Go ahead and grab that lock ring. I'm just gonna do the reverse of when we removed it. Here we go. Lock ring has snapped into place. Grab your connector, line that up. 
push that on here and feel it snap into place and then secure your cover. Next step I would do, I would focus on disposing of any rags or towels that you used with those fuel, with that fuel or fuel vapors on them, seal those up and get them out of the way. And then we'll come back and pull down our cover here. You peel down our insulator here. And go ahead and tuck that underneath our covers. Now when we install the back, we want to make sure we pull our seat belts up through. And on the front section here, we have these loops here that actually interlock into here. This is what we disconnected. So we want to make sure we get our seat belts in, seat back tucked in, and then we'll latch the front there. Tip that seat back. You can feel underneath to see how close that is, and we are right on. At this point here, we can go ahead and reconnect the ground terminal and the battery, and go ahead and start the vehicle. Install the ground terminal. Make sure it's down as far as it can go. Snug down the 10 millimeter bolt. You have your connector right here. Line that up. Install that. At this point here, we can secure our deck cover hook. Drop it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.